In this video, I'm going to build an outdoor table for our deck. So two years ago, I built the deck and I saved all of our scrap materials. And this table is going to be built entirely out of our scrap wood from building our deck. So essentially, it's going to be a free table. This table is not going to be pretty. It's meant to be functional. Okay, so right now we have a deck that is 20 feet by 18. And right now back on this corner we have benches that we're using. And these benches are 2 feet by 3 feet. So what we're trying to do is build a nice little table in here. Uh, this bench will obviously come down. And so our table is going to be three feet by three feet. Nice little square table. So we'll have a bench on this side, bench on this side, then we'll be able to pull up some chairs over here. Okay, we've got all of our tools set up. Got my wood laid out. Got my adult beverage. Today I'm drinking Flying Dogs Numero Uno, uh, which is actually a really great beer to drink while you're eating crabs. It also works when you're out building stuff in your yard. So let's get started. by 12 here for the tabletop, some 2 by 4s for the frame, and some uh, pieces of wood for the legs. Six plus 36 equals 72. Nine feet. Next we're gonna use our square to make a nice clean line to cut on. And there we have it. Four two by twelves cut. And this will be our tabletop. Now time to cut the remaining boards. All right, so we got all of our boards cut. Made a slight miscalculation. The boards that we're using for our tabletop, I thought they were two by 12s. I'm silly. They're actually two by 10s. Which isn't a big deal. I just had to adjust my cuts on the boards I'm using for my frame. Um, got 26 inch boards for the legs. Hopefully that'll get about a 28 inch height um, table, which is low, but I'm short, so it's gonna work out pretty good. All right, so next up, I'm gonna start drilling the boards together. Just to make it a little easier on myself, I've pre-drilled some holes for the screws. And we're just gonna go ahead and use our deck screws that we used to drill down all these deck boards. If you don't have a framing square, uh, that my daddy taught me. You want to measure one size. This side we got 51 inches. And then you want to crisscross and measure the other side. And if they match, then they're square. If they don't match, then they're not. Oh, so came in this side at 52. So we're about an inch off, so I'll have to keep playing around with this frame and get it nice and square for us. All right, so this might work now here. We've adjusted, we're more at a 51 and a half. Swing around over here. Bang, we're at about 51, right around 51, which isn't a big deal. This, this will be acceptable. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be functional. 
So now we'll go ahead and start attaching our legs. tabletop boards. Alright, making sure that our tabletop's on. I haven't screwed it in yet. We are at 52 inches this way. 52. Nailed it. Alright, boards are all screwed in. Good thing it looks like it's, it's level. Which is important because you don't want drinks and stuff rolling off the table. Sweet. Alright, so we got all the uh, boards screwed down for the tabletop. It's coming along nicely. Uh, I put a little bit of glue here in between the boards to cover the gap. And uh, Jen's grandfather gave us some woodworking tools. And so what I'm going to do with this guy, I'm going to try to shave down the edges here. So that way when you're sitting, it's not a, uh, a sharp edge. It'll be a nice rounded edge. So I'm going to go around here to the sides, try to smooth out these edges. All right, so we got the uh, edges rounded enough, and uh, now I got my some sandpaper. I'm gonna do some sanding. I'm gonna get the tabletop nice and smooth. Um, I'm not sure if we'll have enough time tonight to, to stain it, but that'll be the next step in the process. Alright, well there we have it. It's actually getting really cold out. I had to put a sweatshirt on, but I think uh, we're finished for today. Got my top on, sanded it down, uh, put some wood glue, put some wood glue in the uh, cracks to fill those in. I gotta let that dry. Texas looks like it's gonna rain, so I think to, uh, right now it's a good stopping point. But the next thing that we're gonna do is just uh, throw maybe some stain or some lacquer on there to help protect it. Hey, look, Mom.